638. So there's a documentary that was made called 638 Ways to Kill Castro that tells the story of some of the many assassination attempts by the CIA to kill Fidel. Fidel. The leader of Cuba. Cuba. Uh, the agency's attempts range from catastrophic to just laughable. I mean, shit, that's just like, come on. <laughs> like, some of the plots are just like, well, I'm, I'm sure you guys probably heard of some of them, but they're just completely fucking absurd. It's it's just shit that, like, if it was to work, you'd be like a one so, million. Shit. For anybody who's not familiar with these things, next time you watch a movie where the CIA is, like, super competent and awesome at their jobs, just remember this. It's the opposite. It's If you actually want to see how this, like a, like a movie that is approximates how the CIA is run, go look up the Keystone Cops. It's an oldie but a goodie. And that'll give you an idea about how the CIA is yeah, and yeah, doing its you know, job. Perfect, yeah. Sky, tell them some of these fucking attempts they actually legitimately tried on this motherfucker. Okay, of course. You guys know which one this is. I will confirm if these are true or untrue. Oh, uh, well, of course. T TJ, you obviously didn't mean uh, is, this, is this the one where they try to poison a cigar? Uh, close, but no cigar, TJ. No cigar. You, go, you beat me to it. <laughs> You're a smart man, Scotty. People that don't know. I'm usually the first to the close, but no cigar. No. Oh, I'm dead, dude. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm warm food. Uh, so the most famous attempt to kill uh, P. Dale was in 1960 when the CIA. Oh, shit, TJ, you know what? I have to have a, a mea culpa to you because this is called exploding cigar, but poisoned is actually right. So you know what? I have to say you were right. Sweet. A poison box of his favorite cigars. Yeah. Uh, just a year after Castro claimed power, the agency spiked the cigars uh, with botulum toxin, strong uh -huh. enough to kill anybody who put their mouth on one. Right. Uh, the cigars were delivered to a, quote, unidentified person in 1961, according to the subcommittee, but it's unclear what happened to them after that. Needless to say... I can, uh... Fill in the gaps, if you... Oh, okay, yeah. The box of cigars. They ended up upon my desk, wrapped as they were in parchment paper back then. As soon as I unwrapped the parchment paper and before I lifted the lid on the box of cigars, I knew that they were poisoned, for I have smoked many, many cigars, more than even the most accomplished cigar smoker that you will ever meet. As a point of fact, I am smoking a cigar right now. In an undisclosed location. And oh, I never am without a cigar. When I inhale at night, I inhale from a giant cigar that is rolled from me each night. When I exhale, I exhale the smoke from that cigar. It is the key to what keeps me alive. And so you know, I know cigars better than any man knows cigars. So I knew immediately that this was another ham-feasted attempt at my life. And I threw the cigars in the ocean to poison the fishes. And I laughed heartily amongst my men. <laughs> awesome. This is a fake picture. This is one of my body doubles. You can always tell because there is no cigar. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course, right. Naturally. Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. 